Uh, small orange, please. You're drinking the wine of the country, anyhow. How so? Well, after all, whiskey was invented in Ireland, you know. The name whiskey, of course, itself is merely an anglicization of the Irish words, Ushkabar, or water of life. And the uh, art of distilling goes back a very long way. You do know that the soldiers of Henry II, when they invaded Ireland in the early 12th century, wasn't it? Uh, brought back with them to England uh, knowledge of how to distill and some of the Irish Ushkabar, whether it was the Furbolds or the Tuatha de Danans or the Iberians or I should say Tuatha de Danan, I believe, if I was a correct Irish speaker, brought it to Ireland. We don't know, but it definitely was there for a very long time. And even the Scots acknowledged that the knowledge of how to distill Ushkabar came from Ireland, probably up through the Mull of Kentire. Um, Elizabeth I was very partial to a drop of Ushkabar, and earlier than that, we find in the Annals of the Four Masters, under the date 1405, a reference to Irish Ushkabar. Uh, a gentleman called Thomas Marston, who was writing plays the same time as Shakespeare, had a play produced in London in 1604 called The Malcolm Tent. In that play, he purports to give the characteristics of various nations, and he starts off, wait, me see now, the Dutchman for a drunkard, the Dane for golden locks, the Irishman for Ushkabar, the Frenchman for something else. Um, the, the English weren't very friendly, I think, at that time with the Dutch and the French. However, it does show you that there was a very long tradition in Ireland of how to make whiskey or Ushkabar. Dr. Johnson, when he published his dictionary in 1755, um, makes no mention of the word whiskey at all. You won't find it in the early editions of Dr. Johnson's dictionary. You will find the word Ushkabar, and of Ushkabar, he says, an aromatic distilled spirit, the Irish sort being particularly well known for its pleasant and mild flavor, which is high praise.